Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be going over oil painting for beginners. We're going to be taking a more distinguished approach using this filter, so we're going to be using our dodge and burn tools. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is open up our subject image. If you would like to work with this image here, there's going to be a link in the description for download. Our first step is we're going to duplicate the subject layer. So with my subject layer highlighted and selected, I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate. So now we have a copy of our subject layer. On our subject layer copy, what we're going to do is go into Filter, Stylize, and select oil paint. My settings for my oil paint filter are 2.1 for stylization, 1.6 for cleanliness, my scale is set to 4.2, and my bristle detail is set to 1.4. The angle of your light source should be reflected upon where your light source is in your image. So our life source is coming from this direction here. So I wanted to set my angle coming from that direction there. So my angle is set to 29 degrees and my shine is set to 2.1. When you have those settings, click OK. And the next thing we're going to do is mask out the effect from the eyes. So we're going to mask out on our subject copy layer so that it can reveal his eyes on the main subject layer. So with my subject copy layer highlighted, I'm going to click on the mask. We're going to zoom into his eyes. I'm going to select my brush tool. With my foreground color set to black, I'm going to scale down my brush. And we're just going to mask out his eyes here. So a quick little mask. I'll press the space bar to slide over. And we're going to mask out on this side as well. Next, we're going to mask out our background. So I'm going to increase my brush size using the bracket keys. And I think that's good there. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we'll just mask out. Now we can go into the hair here. It doesn't need to be a perfect mask because the effect is already on the majority of the image there. So I'll use the space, I'll zoom in a little bit more and use the space bar, click and drag to sort of get in this area here. Scale down my brush and we'll just mask this out here. So I'm only going over. Um, like the light strands of his hair here. Okay, control zero to zoom back out. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a color lookup adjustment layer. So I'll select my adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and choose color lookup. At the very top here, there's gonna be a drop down menu. So I'll select my drop down menu. And what we're, what we're going to be looking for is futuristic bleak. Let's see here. Futuristic bleak. We just added that there. We'll click OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So once more, I'll click into my adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And we're going to go into brightness and contrast. I'm going to increase my brightness to 16. I'll click enter and X out of here. And now we're going to add some levels. I'll click my adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel and select levels. I'm going to bring my midtones in a bit here and increase my highlights. And I think I'm going to bring my shadows in some more too here. Let's 
So my midtones are over to the left, highlights. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So the settings that I have for my levels are my shadows are set to 13, my midtones at 1.05, and my highlights are set to 241. I'll X out of here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to merge all these layers onto a new layer. So I'm with my top layer selected, I'm going to press Control, Shift, Alt, and E on my keyboard to merge all layers onto our new layer. I'll select my Levels layer while holding the Shift key. I'll select my Subject layer and press Control G to group all of these layers here. Next, we're going to select our Dart and Burn tool. And we're going to highlight and select the newly merged Create a Layer here. So with my Burn tool selected, my range is on Shadows up here. And my exposure is set to 22%. I have my Burn tool selected. I'm going to increase my brush size and we're just going to click and drag in the shadow areas here. I want to zoom in so we have a fairly decent effect going on and we're not burning too much of the image here. So I'll just go into the shadow areas, sort of darken those up a bit. mainly around the beard because that's where the effect really takes effect it really makes it pop when you go in around the beard so I'm gonna decrease my exposure a little bit let's bring that down to about 14 percent and I'm gonna increase my brush size a bit and there we go So I'm just clicking in these dark areas here. Move my um, document around here. I'm gonna increase my brush and we're gonna really go in this area here. Okay, now I'll zoom in on the other side here and go over to the hair. In the dark area like that. And we're going to do the same thing with our highlights using our dodge tool. So I'll zoom back out. If I just click and hold on the burn icon, I can select my dodge tool. So we're going to zoom back in just a little. And I'm going to increase my brush size. And we're just going to perform the same action, but this time we're looking for the highlights. So you click and drag until you get the effect that suits you. So we know our light source is coming from this direction here, so you might want to go brighter on this side here. And over the hair, see he has a lot of highlights in his hair, so we want to really bring out that those highlights. So this is a perfect tool to bring out those highlights. And I'll switch back to my burn tool and just go over this area here, really darken the shadow. And there you go, guys. You have completed the um, oil painting technique. If you're new to this channel, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. 
We're always looking for new content to upload, so if you have any ideas for future tutorials that you would like us to upload, please leave us a comment in the comment sections below. Until next time.